quick turnaround, I guess, after the win at the weekend. Um, great. You must be great feeling in the camp. Two wins out of your last three. You should have been three out of three, I think. But you got to the Wakefield game full of confidence. Yeah, we should get a bit of confidence out of the last couple of weeks we've played. I don't think it counts for a lot so far in what we've done this season. We'd like to be able to string some consistency for a longer period to, to be able to go into a game with massive confidence. But um, look, we've taken a couple of steps in the right direction, particularly defensively. It wasn't a pretty game with the footy definitely on the weekend on Sunday, but we defend our line a little bit better. And I just said before, I think it's the first time we've really defended our way to victory since I've been here, so that's a start. I'm going to say, because if you can defend like that and you know there's more to come from the attack, then that's a positive, isn't it? Yeah, it should be. It should be. I mean, I know um, hopefully our attack will be a little bit further down down the road with Martin having played a game, reviewed the game and getting another trainer session in before the weekend's game. So I think we all probably simplified things a little bit for us this week, you know, and, and made it easier for everyone and, and both the halves as well. But... Um, yeah, I'd like to think we can improve in that area and if we can maintain and keep improving and get some confidence out of our D, well, we'll be competitive. And looking at it, Whitfield, obviously, they're flying high. They're looking at getting to the top four, so there's plenty on the line again this weekend. Yeah, there always is. I think always games against Wakey are pretty competitive for Huddersfield. Um, you know, they've had a, a really good season, really good start to the season. You know, they've probably gone on the radar a little bit themselves, but they've... they've manufactured a good squad, they're playing a good brand, they've got a good mix of experience and, and youth and some genuine pace that sort of has got some strike in it. So, yeah, they've got a well-balanced team. You beat them, obviously, earlier on at the John Smith, so you're looking for the double. It'd be nice to get that on the board, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, it would. You know, in the context of the competition, every game is pretty important for us. And, um, you know, I think the competition has showed that on the day anyone can beat anyone. So it, it's it's a matter of turning up with the right attitude defensively and willing to pay a bit of a price. But also your execution and your kicking game has got to be on the money as well. And if you do that, well, you're going to give yourself a chance. Another week as well for Martin Rudyard to get used to his teammates and how you want him to play and how his teammates play, I guess. Yeah, that'll help. Yeah, I think now we've reviewed the game and we'll get another training session in and um, give Martin a chance to settle in and... and probably define his role in the team a little bit more and, and, and compliment Lee Gaskell and you know work with our hookers. So, you know, that's a, that's a positive and um, I'm sure, you know, he's pretty excited to come in and, you know, he had a pass mark from the weekend. He had a smile on his face, you know, to, to think he's jumped in and, and got a win. And, um, you know, he's contributed well and hopefully he can do a bit more this week. Any plans to bring anyone else in? Well, there may be. We're just got to... We're working through a couple of scenarios and... Um, Depending on what our cap tells us we can do, we're sort of st still always looking. That's an ongoing process for most clubs, I reckon. Might that involve you having to get someone out of the door? or? Uh, may maybe not. Maybe not. We'll just, we'll just have to sort of go through a process. There's a little bit of space there, obviously, with um, Ryan Brelly moving on to the Wolfpack. So we'll see where, where that gets to and, you know... If we want to bring a person in long term, well, we want to bring a person in long term for the right reasons, you know. So Martin's on loan for us at the moment, and we'll see where that's going to evolve to by the time the 28 days is finished. And looking at it squad wise, how are you looking this week? It was great to have Leroy back at the weekend. Did he, did he come through all right? Yeah, I think he did. You know, he had a bit of general soreness after the game, which you'd expect he hadn't played for a while, but he got through 80 minutes and his knee was good, which has been troubling him in the last couple of weeks. That's good. It's a quick turnaround, but we've got a bit of a break so he can have a few days off after Friday's game. Um, good to have our captain back. You know, he's an inspirational player that definitely makes a bit of a difference for us when he plays. Uh, Injury-wise, can I just ask you about Akuma Tai and Tom Simons? We've not seen them for a while now. Yeah, look, Akuma's the one that's probably closer than anyone to coming back. He's got a, I think, a consultant um, appointment on Tuesday. He's starting to move all right. He's had a back injury that's caused him some grief and um, he's moving and training a lot better. Um, he had a an epidural a couple of weeks ago. We're, we're going to know a little bit more about the effect of that um, come Tuesday once we get a report from a specialist. So we'll, we'll know a little bit more then. Tom's had another operation. He hasn't had much luck. He's had an operation after the season, got himself ready for the first game and then hurt himself, had another operation and then come back and hurt himself and he's had another little tidy up. So 
it's it's not the best scenario for Tom. He's going to be out for an extended period. Is he so, what season long, or you're getting back? Or? Well, I'm not sure whether he'll be back. Obviously, um, Michael Lawrence is in the same position. He's had a decent knee surgery when he when he hurt himself in, after around about four or five, and he, he's looking to be back a couple of weeks before the before the middle eights or the super eight sort of start. So. Um, Tom, Tom could be a similar sort of distance or even more dependent on how he reacts, obviously, in his rehab. So frustration yeah. for him. Um, any sign of any other changes this weekend? Oh, probably not, I don't think. I think we're likely to sort of go with the similar 19 that we had last week. As long as they come through fit and healthy. I think Dale Ferguson with a little back and Sam Rapier with an ankle is our own sort of worries. Most of the boys get through the game all right. So um, if we can... If we can build some confidence on what we did last week and improve a bit, again, you know, we'll, we'll give ourselves a go. And finally, no game for you boys on Monday because of the football. Um, big, huge for the town, wouldn't it? If Huddersfield could get into the Premier League, it certainly lift the profile of the place, wouldn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, a little Huddersfield would go up in the expectations a bit, but um, good luck to those boys. You know, they've flown under the radar themselves all year. You know, they've, they've played a good brand of footy. They probably led the league till. Christmas and you know had a few ups and downs since then, but have continued to battle and punch above their weight, and they they get themselves in a position that they're one game away from being a chance of promotion. So good luck to them, and I'd like to see them do well.